Hi, today I have another video about uh, genetics, law of probability and statistics and I recommend you to stop video here, read all the questions and try to solve them and uh, those problem is going to be very easy one and uh, I also believe that uh, most of you would be able to solve all these problems on your own just using pure sense, uh, common sense and logic but still, uh, some of the questions may be tricky one. So, uh, when you would be ready, you can uh, run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, here is the first question, or here is the problem. On the average, about one child in every 10,000 births in the United States has a genetic disease called phenylketonuria pico. What is the probability uh, that the next child born in the particular Mississippi hospital will have PQO? Uh, you can assume that the probability of the disease in Mississippi is the same as in the United States. So, the probability that the next child would have this genetic disorder would be 1 out of um, 10,000. So, the probability uh, would be the same as we uh, have statistical probability here. And uh, this was the first question, very easy. And uh, question B, suppose a PQO child ju uh, has just been born in this hospital. What is the probability that the next child born in this same hospital will have PQO? And uh, this is probably, uh, in this problem, uh, big numbers like 10,000 uh, births or 1 out of 10,000 births may mislead you to think that uh, there is connection between uh, such events and uh, probability that the next child uh, burn right uh, after the first one with PQ would be least than normal and this is not correct assumption uh, just consider for example what is the probability uh, to have next child to be a boy for example if you already have a boy in a family and uh, such um, probabilities are not connected so this is independent events so we would answer that uh, next child have one half chances to have uh, to be born as a boy so the same uh, rule applies here so uh, the probability that the next child would have pico would be one out of ten thousand and um, question c what is the probability that two children born in a row will have pico and in this case, because uh, none of the events uh, happened, we have to multiply these chances. So we have to multiply 1 out of 10,000 uh, chances for the first child to be born, born with uh, PQU. And we have to multiply with chances that... Uh, the next child also would have this genetic disorder. Just the same uh, rule like uh, when we predict gender of the children, for example, what are the chances that two uh, children in a family would be girls in a row. So for the first child would be one half chances and we have to multiply that for the second, um, second child chances that is going also to be one half so altogether this is going to be one fourth chances that in a family there are going to be two girls in a row or two boys for example so the same rule here so we have to multiply all these two possibilities and our answer would be one chance out of uh, we have uh, here four zeros and four zeros here so we have to put eight zeros here three four five six seven eight 
and the answer would be one chance out of one hundred millions. And uh, the last question, question B and C seems the same, but they are not. Why is the answer to part C so different from the answer to part B? And once again, uh, let me remind you these questions. Suppose a PQ child just have been born in this hospital. What is the probability that the next child born in the hospital will have PQ? And uh, question C, what is the probability that two children born in a row will have PQ? And there is a dramatic difference between these two um, questions because in the first um, question, question B, we have uh, already one event that is already uh, exist. We already have one child that uh, has been born and we ask what is the probability for the following child also have this uh, genetic disorder and uh, as long as these two probabilities are independent this is going to be uh, one out of 10,000 chances and here in uh, question C what is the probability that two children born in a row will have PQ we ask the uh, probability of the two independent events to happen together. So we have to multiply uh, chances for both these events and the answer here would be uh, 1 out of uh, 100 millions. So I hope this explanation were um, clear and now you understand the difference and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.